As missile threats grow across the globe, from the deserts of the Middle East to the front lines in Eastern Europe, one defense system continues to stand at the front lines, the Patriot Missile System. This iconic piece of technology has evolved from Cold War origins into a vital component of modern missile defense. Its journey, full of challenges and reinventions, mirrors the shifting face of warfare itself. The Patriot Missile System was developed in the 1970s by Raytheon and deployed in the early 1980s during the Cold War. Designed as a mobile air defense system, its mission was to protect ground forces and strategic locations from Soviet aircraft and tactical ballistic missiles. Its name, Patriot, actually stands for Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target, a reflection of the cutting-edge radar and targeting technologies built into it. The system was revolutionary for its time, combining phased array radar with ground-launched interceptor missiles, all orchestrated by a centralized control station capable of tracking multiple threats simultaneously. But the Patriot truly entered the global spotlight during the 1991 Gulf War, when Iraq began launching Scud missiles at coalition forces in civilian areas in Saudi Arabia and Israel, the Patriot was the primary defense system available. Early reports praised its performance, claiming near-perfect interception rates. However, post-war assessments revised those numbers significantly, estimating the actual success rate at only 40 to 60 percent. Though the Patriot intercepted many incoming missiles, others slipped through or were only partially neutralized. It was a sobering moment, highlighting the complexity of missile defense and the urgent need for improvement. In response, the United States embarked on a major modernization effort. The result was the PAC-3, or Patriot Advanced Capability 3. Unlike earlier interceptors that detonated near their targets, the PAC-3 used hit-to-kill technology, physically colliding with incoming warheads at high velocity to destroy them. This precision greatly increased the system's effectiveness. Alongside the new interceptor came enhancements to radar systems, command controls, and engagement algorithms. The modern Patriot could now detect and destroy more advanced threats, including short-range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, with much higher reliability. This transformation was timely. The 21st century has seen an explosion in the use of missiles, rockets, and drones across every major conflict zone. Whether it's North Korea launching intercontinental missiles, Houthi rebels targeting Saudi cities, or Russia using ballistic and cruise missiles in Ukraine, missile warfare has become central to both offensive and defensive strategies. In this environment, systems like the Patriot are more vital than ever. In recent years, Missile attacks in the Middle East have surged, with escalating tensions between Iran and Israel spilling into proxy battles and direct strikes. These attacks have highlighted the importance of reliable air and missile defense systems. Perhaps one of the clearest demonstrations of the Patriot's modern capabilities came in 2025, when a large-scale missile attack targeted U.S. military bases in Qatar. The attack, believed to be orchestrated by Iran-backed militants, involved a barrage of ballistic missiles aimed at disrupting American military operations. Thanks to the deployment of the Patriot system in the region, every missile was successfully intercepted before reaching its target. No lives were lost, and operations at the base continued uninterrupted. This wasn't just a victory for missile defense. It was a validation of decades of development and adaptation. Today, the Patriot is no longer a standalone shield. It often operates as part of a layered missile defense network. In the United States and many allied nations, Patriot batteries are integrated with systems like THAAD, which intercepts missiles at higher altitudes, and Aegis, which defends from naval platforms. Israel, too, has created a multi-tiered defense system, using Iron Dome for short-range threats, David's Sling for medium-range, and Aero systems for long-range ballistic missiles. All concepts influenced in part by the success and lessons learned from Patriot deployments. The Patriot itself continues to evolve. The latest variant, PAC-3 MSE, Missile Segment Enhancement, offers extended range, improved accuracy, and increased lethality. It can maneuver more effectively and engage faster, more sophisticated threats, including emerging hypersonic missiles. 
The system is also being upgraded to incorporate AI-assisted targeting and decision-making tools, helping operators respond faster to complex high-speed attacks. As tensions rise and missile arsenals grow in size and sophistication, the role of missile defense has shifted from niche to necessity. Nations no longer ask if they need missile defense. They ask how many systems, where to place them, and how to integrate them for maximum coverage. The Patriot, once a Cold War relic, has become a symbol of modern warfare's evolving landscape. In this new era, where threats come at mock speeds and in unpredictable patterns, the Patriot missile system remains a critical part of the global defense network. It doesn't just defend bases, it defends stability, deterrence, and the ability to respond without first suffering catastrophic losses. As missile warfare continues to shape geopolitics, the Patriot will remain not just a part of the strategy, it is the strategy.